Hey guys, today I got another quick HP touchpad video. And if you saw my last one, you noticed how I just showed you just Android quickly running on the HP touchpad. And that was using Cyanogen mod. And I kind of messed around with a few other ones, Touch Droid and some other less stable models. And then when I eventually removed Android from my touchpad and rebooted WebOS, I noticed that, say, down here in the HP app catalog and the maps, they weren't running anymore. I tried to look, I didn't know how to fix it. So now, today I'm just going to show show you a how to, how to restore WebOS on your HP touchpad back to factory set settings. So I'm just going to hop over now to my computer. First thing you want to do is open up your browser. Uh, it'll bring you to a, one of HP's palm pages. I'll put the link in the description. You're going to want to sign in here over on the right. Once you've done all that, it'll give you all the details and go down to the bottom down here where it will show you your device details. And you want to go over here to device options. And then it gives you three options. I lost my phone, remove from my account and get WebOS doctor. You want to click on get WebOS doctor or it'll open up a new tab. And then It'll ask you if you've got Java or not. You need Java for this. It'll then give you an option to download. If you don't have it, you click continue. And then you just click download WebOS Doctor. I already have it downloaded, so I will not be downloading it right now. So you can just close that down. And then I've just got it open. I've just saved it on my desktop. You can save it wherever. And then you run it. It does take a while to open for some reason. So I will just wait for it to open and show you what comes up. So you can see here, it is, you just select your language, UK and Ireland. And now what you confirm your language, accept all this. It says that this tool will reset your phone if it has stopped responding during a software update. It will take 15 minutes to an hour depending on your battery level. So I just say you recommend having a, a lot of battery because if this, the battery dies while well, during this process, it could destroy your Palm product, your touch battery, your Palm Pre or whatever. You cannot use your phone during the reset process. After your phone has reset, log into your Palm profile. Any information that has been backed up in your Palm profile will be restored. Applications, contact calendar, email accounts, your music videos, documents will not be affected. So you just want to click next. Now you just want to make sure you shut down your HP touchpad. Shut down. Now once your HP touchpad is shut down, you want to hold the volume up button up here, top left, and the on the home button. So I mean the sleep power button, not the home button. So you want to hold here and then up there as well at the same time. So just hold it now. And you agree to with the USB symbol, prompting you to plug in your USB. And now I'll hop back to the computer. Click next. And you wait for this to load. Okay guys, I'm back in my touchpad after it's been restored. You can see down here now, my app catalog is back to normal. Maps should be back to normal, it's just loading like the rest of my apps from the restore. Except for some reason this one application isn't working, but that wasn't even working before I stuck Android on it. And I'll just show you which firmware I'm running. If I go to device info, it will go... 3.0.5 if you can see down there so guys I'm just gonna say thanks for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up please comment subscribe for some more HP touchpad videos I'm gonna do a how-to next week how to install ice or Android 
first video will be for just gingerbread and hopefully in the coming weeks I will have a ice cream sandwich how to when a more stable update for that comes out. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.